Hello, good morning, greetings, and welcome to, well, a wood, a wooded area on the North York uh, Moors, and this is a shoot, I've forgotten, welcome to a falling moss, oh shoot, take three, welcome to uh, Falling Foss, uh, which actually is just behind me and down below me down there, which is why you can't hear it. If you're wondering what it is exactly, look how this dips down. It is a waterfall, uh, which I'll tell you more about when we get to it, but it's called Falling Foss Waterfall. And this walk I'm doing is only about uh, slowing down because going downhill for me is a uh, well put it this way you you won't really appreciate how hard your knees work until you're older when you're doing uh, inclines like this this is a great little path by the way perfect what was i talking about falling false falling false waterfall I'll tell you more about it when we get down there. But this walk is only three and a half miles, I'm told. I'm thinking it'll take me quite a while because I'm filming as I go. But uh, I hope you enjoy it. Look at this pathway, it's perfect. Today I have with me my trusty walking stick complete with attachment for camera. Uh, and when you've got inclines like this, uh, you can't really see how steep that is, but it's actually quite a steep little incline there, or decline. Um, and the stick, we don't put the stick ahead just to act as a little prop to keep me up. Helps a lot. I sound like such an invalid. I'm not, I'm not all that old. I'm just a bit out of uh, kilter plus. Added to that, I'm massively overweight, which is what this is all about. That and wellness. So I've just come down the pathway there on the right, and rather than peel off to the left, which is kind of looks like it's back the way I came, I'm coming down here, where there is, because uh, I want to get down into the bottom of the gorge or the valley. The tree overturned here. It looks like it's happened because of age and weakness but I bet that's a few hundred years old on its own it's always sad really over here there seems to be more trees struggling keeping upright there's a little beck here Kind of nice not to see shopping trolleys inside this. Look at that tree there. Wows. Wowza wowza. Ooh, step down there. More trees collapsing over there. I guess the uh, because we're in the base of the valley now, I'm going to stick to the more processed pathway, I think. Uh, hopefully it will start going back on itself soon. But uh, yeah, because we're in the bottom of the valley, I guess this is quite water sodden. Hence the trees are struggling as they get heavy or when it gets windy to keep themselves up. A very nice lady just came up to me and pointed out that I was going the wrong way. That uh, this would not get me back to the falls. So I pretty much have to go back in my tracks and see if I can get back on <laughs> the right direction. So I'm here back at the little bridge. I just went over next to the fallen tree and I asked her, I said, 
why are all the trees falling over? <laughs> Is it because it's so sodden? Uh, and she said, immediately she said, they do it deliberately. She knew, it's obviously a thing. And uh, she said, this is run by uh, Forestry England. And they want to preserve it as like a natural habitat. So they just let it do its thing. And if the trees are going to fall, the trees are going to fall. Which I completely love. I think that's amazing. And uh, she also pointed out to watch out for violets. Now, I wouldn't have the first idea what a violet looks like. And probably... To be honest with you, two months ago, I wouldn't have cared. But I'm actually finding myself looking out for violets. You can't beat a bit of local knowledge. I always say, but I did push her a little bit too far. And I started asking her about where does that trail go and what does that, like this fork here, I asked her about this fork. I said, where's that left hand fork go? And she looks like to get a bit flustered. But I think I might go down this left hand fork. Fingers crossed. Whew. Another fallen tree. It's so interesting because, you know, I've been in many woods and forests and whatever. And uh, you don't really see them because they're dangerous, right? So they, they fix them, cut them up, get rid of them. Not here. Got it. So following the river, Still, I just saw that lady again. That's why I stopped recording just back there. She's from Ryslip, she said. And uh, she says, this will take me back to where I want to be, which is the waterfall, essentially. That rhymed. Took me back to where I want to be. The waterfall, essentially. coast to coast right I can see the bridge uh, and beyond the bridge there's a little tea room which apparently in summertime is very nice uh, I'm actually I will pop down to the waterfall and have a quick look just to show you but I do need to turn left here before I get to the waterfall but because I like you so much I'm going to show you a quick shot of the waterfall. Somebody had the brilliant business mind to turn this little building or to even build this little building and make it into a tea room. Genius. There it is. Isn't that pretty? The rock is kind of in fissures, horizontal fissures, like it's slate. It could be that it's been built up by people, but um, if that's natural, that's like incredible, isn't it? Just years and years and years and millions of years and years of sediment building up. Looks like somebody's done a smiley face on the tree. The guidebook says, after heavy rains, this is quite a torrent. And although we have the option of going down here and under the bridge, I'm going to continue on up the path to the side of the bridge. Tap water. From the tap. So it's through these gates here, or this gate. There's another one, another one beyond.
I've now set up a Patreon page, uh, which is a space people can go to beyond the comment section of, of YouTube. Um, there I am giving extra content behind the scenes material uh, when I'm out filming documentaries or whatever shows I'm doing for television. Okay. Craig, do you want me to run up or are you? Yeah, are you... If, if it was just doing their thing, yeah. Derek's going to run up, blow his, well, I guess this. What? Something like it. Was. I'll do some behind the scenes stuff of that as well. Looking at equipment, maybe something from the people I'm working with. Uh, the sky's the limit really on what we can uh, get done there. So that's going to be sort of added value content for Patreon donations uh, that people have made, people have donated. And there's three tiers there to check out, uh, starting from buying me a cup of coffee through to me making a personal video directly to you, answering any questions you've got. Uh, so if you would like to check that out, then uh, down in the description, there's a little link. Uh, it'll be great to see you there if you want more of a one-on-one -on -one kind of situation, relationship, if you will. This gate's completely open to this field of sheep. This is like an enormous field. This is a bridal way, feels right. Bushes, slightly unkempt. It's what the guidebook said there'd be. Let's trod on, look what I'm heading out towards. Oh my God. I'm gonna walk all the way around there and back up to that hill. Lucky me. Right, so I definitely feel better. I've taken my jacket off. <clears throat> and now I'm walking in literally like 10 degrees uh, in just a t-shirt. Um, and there's a pathway sign here telling me to turn right or yellow marker to go straight ahead. I've got a feeling right is the bridal way I want to take. All right, through we go. Fiddly diddly dee. Down a bit, then up a bit. Over to some overgrown bushes. A bridge over a stream. So I've just come over the hill. Just beyond over there is the farm. You just see the rooftops maybe. Uh, and I've just come over the hill. There's a big hill down. And it's a shame that these hills don't really translate very well on video. But there's a little path down by the river, uh, which leads me to, I can see it looks like a stile or some sort of wooden structure. Beyond here, there's a very straight bit, according to the map, uh, which means I probably won't film very much of it. Gives me a chance to recharge the batteries in the Osmo. But uh, beyond that straight bit is Little Beck. And then I double back, well not double back, but I start coming back a different direction, a different route. And uh, that looks a little bit more interesting. So we'll see how we go. Not quite sure how I right. There's a oh, I see it's kind of like a rope there to stop you falling in, I think. Bit of mud here. First bit of mud I've seen. It smells a bit ooh, quite high above that river. I think there was a little waterfall back there. Because I seem to have got quite high very quickly. Now where do I go? Oh, there's a sign. 
can see what it says. Oh, jeez, there goes my ankle. Path divided follow way markers. Yeah, there's a way marker. This is where I need to read my ordnance survey map. That is a, a way marker, I believe. Telling you the way. There's, phew, phew, flies. Sheep staring at me. They don't miss a trick. That is what lies ahead. And that's where I've just come from. I just came, the river was down there and I crossed a field up to this fence. The river was down there and I crossed a field up to this fence here. Uh, this is the farmer's pathway down to his farm. And just over there in the valley is Little Beck, where I'm headed. So I reckon it's about a mile away, maybe less, half a mile. And I presume I'm going to walk all the way back, oops, along through these trees, back to where I started. I've stopped just because I realised I couldn't really hear anything. Cow? Sheep? Somebody banging? Tractor? Lots of various birds in the distance. Bit of breeze. See, I, was, uh, I spent most of my life in, um, in London and decided to move out of London because the street I lived on just started getting noisier and noisier. Uh, I think it was like the main artery up to the North Circular or something, Oxbridge Road. And every, it seemed like 10 or 15 minutes, sirens would go past, car horns, cars, and you look out and it's just people, everywhere you look, people. Chicken shops, mobile phone shops, those facias for phones, shops. Uh, phone another country for cheap shops, internet shops, uh, hair and nail shops. That's all it was. Groceries, like fruit and veg out on the street, <laughs> literally uh, two meters away from car exhausts. But obviously you wash your food when you take it home. But my point is that it was something that I started noticing and I, I could feel it affecting me. Uh, and the, the contrast of that to this, like complete silence, is amazing. I've got a 360 panorama here of just countryside and hills and clouds and sky. It's amazing. Back at the waterfall, um, uh, a woman turned up who had a couple of kids with her and the kid was like, Mom, the waterfall's over here. Let's go look at it. She went, all oh, right. And she went over and looked at it. And I heard her, I was walking away by that point, but I heard her saying, uh, oh my, that's amazing, she said. And I was like, yeah, it is, it is amazing. That's what I was thinking. It is amazing, that waterfall. I love it. And uh, I turned around to sort of have a look and she was already walking away from it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It's like, is that it? Like maybe 10 seconds is what you would spend on something that you find th that degree of amazing? I mean, my God, what would she, what would she do if she saw the, uh, you know, the universe come into existence? Which, <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Right, what's on telly? Like if you liked this video Or you can be bold And leave a comment down below Hit the notification bell To get an alert so I can tell you I've uploaded a video they are okay